Hi there. Today we're going to look at my image of God as a father. And we're going to do things a little bit unusual today because I've got someone who's going to actually speak from her perspective of how she had made a journey from where she was to how she now views God as a father. Now, have a look at these pictures and see um, how this resonates with you. Do you see God as a teacher with a cane in his hand waiting just to flog you whenever you do something wrong? Or do you see God as a loving father? We're going to discuss that today. So I have got with me here Jacinta. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Um, yes. Hi. Um, today I'll be talking about my own experience with God and my relationship with him especially accepting him as my father it's something i struggled with and to be honest i still struggle with but i'm at a better place than i was um a few months ago even a couple of years ago for me i found that my main struggle had to do with the fact that i've never really had a father figure so therefore growing up with male examples around me but never having that father-daughter real relationship or real connection and even if I did it was temporary because they were men who would come and go out of my life um, very rapidly so I could understand what it's like to be a daughter for maybe a couple of days whilst my uncle's in town and then when he leaves again for a year that has gone so to understand God as a father, there was a disconnection because I never knew what A, a father-daughter relationship was, B, what it meant or what it entailed, and C, the need for it. Because I've grown up without a father, without a father, the influence or role model. So obviously now to have a father, even if it's God in my life, is something that's not necessary. So I've never understood the need for it until maybe like two years ago I came to a place in my life when I realized that God is my father I would hear my friends when they're praying you know they'll pray to God and say daddy we thank you and father we thank you and it just I always felt weird what how you what are you gonna say daddy we thank you or father we thank you in a prayer just say God we thank you <laughs> but um, it was something that bugged me and I wanted to be able to understand how they got to that place so yeah, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take the rest in part two, okay? She's going to come back to us in part two of the video. But for now, if you have any questions or you want to talk about anything, do make sure you send me an email to pastorbumi at yournicc.com. Uh, join us at NICC, that's New Living International Christian Center. NICC is a Pentecostal church. It's the place to begin, is the place to belong, is the place to become someone great for Christ's sake. All right, service time, Sundays, celebration service from 2 to 4, and Tuesday, Bible studies, 6.30 to 8 p.m. Saturday prayer, if you want to be prayed for, just come along between um, 11 and 12, but if you want to start early, you are free to do so also. Um, we pray for quite a few hours on that Saturday. Address is 395 Barking Road, London E138 AL. We're going to come back with part two with Jacinta to finish her awesome story.